Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is February 4th, 2022. So guys, listen, we have to have the talk. We have to have the talk again, okay? When will graphics card prices drop? This topic is on everyone's mind. With the uh, latest drop in crypto, the crypto winner, the bear market, everyone's thinking, oh, people are dumping their rigs, GPU, prices will drop, etc. I don't know. I am not sure now. I know uh, on the other side of things, the gaming consoles, the Xboxes, the uh, PS5s, they have actually dropped in price, but the GPUs seem to be holding, holding steady. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Let's go through this article. So they're saying with the acute chip shortage, it's continued to rattle the consumer's industry. Graphics card prices might remain high for some time. Yeah, we knew that anyway. I know, always knew the chip shortage was going it, to... It's impacting everything. That, uh, yeah, it's just not good. Anyway, as the chip shortage continued to rattle the consumer electronics industry, a new graphics card remains a distant dream for most gamers and DIY PC builders and miners. Don't forget us miners, Screen Rant. Come on, guys. Anyway, the past year has been a difficult one for PC enthusiasts with uh, graphics cards remaining almost impossible to buy. You can buy them. You can go on eBay or StockX. You're going to pay a lot of money. Yeah. The lack of, uh, the lack of availability of GPUs is a direct result of the ongoing chip shortage and the cryptocurrency boom that have combined to create a perfect storm for buyers. Rampant scalping and price gouging and uh, not only preventing end users from buying their favorite graphics cards, but the situation is now so bad that even scalpers are finding it hard to get their hands on cards as well. Interesting. Maybe they're just not making the cards. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Oh, related. GPU restock. How to find in-stock graphics cards. Just go to my Discord. I do have a little um, couple pieces of software I wrote, scripts that just go out and they check for stuff that's in stock. It may not be the best price, but I put out alerts on you know most cards that do come in stock. Uh, most, again, like I said, are the third-party guys, the scalper prices, but at least you know they're in stock. Some do come in, and they are, say, sold by Amazon, and you can get a sweet deal on some of the cards. You just got to check. That's all I can say. Short of uh, you guys going out and getting a retail bot, learning how to run it, spending all the money, blah, 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 it's, it's not a bad way to just see what's in stock. So... I don't know. And retail bots really aren't hitting GPUs as good because the retailers are getting better at blocking bots. Some guys do well, all right, but in general, yeah, it's it's a lot of work and just a lot, a lot of work just to get some cards. All right, let's go on. Uh, let's see. While the cards remain a hard-to-find commodity, there may be some light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, what is he saying? Oh, the old NVIDIA guys, man. They expect its graphic card supplies to improve by the second half. When is that? July of 2022. However, that still uh, means at least several months of status quo with high prices and low availability. As for the pricing, both NVIDIA and AMD have said that they'd like for the prices to come down. No, they don't. They're making money. Because their cost to build these things are pretty much the same, I guess. Except they have to get the chips, Right. All right, but neither have actually done anything about it. Yeah, come on. Still high demand, even with a down market. So let's check. We are in February 4th, 2022. We're about 38, eh, 37.9 on the old Bitcoin. The old Bitcoin at about 2,800 on ETH. You know, you get the gist. There's a high demand yet. People are still mining. People are selling their rigs. Okay, so one of the issues that have compounded the problem is the cryptocurrency boom. That's making miners sweep up all, almost all available GPU stock in a bid to slow the crypto gold rush. NVIDIA did introduce an Ethereum hash limiter, the old LHR, uh, that reduces the mining performance of its 3000 series graphics cards by up to 50%. The company also launched several CMP series cards uh, aimed at crypto miners including the top-of-the-line CMP 170HX. However, despite all that, prices of graphics cards are unlikely to come down until supplies improve, possibly towards the end of the year. I wouldn't hold it. I mean, if you keep waiting and waiting for prices to go down, 
I don't know. You just don't know. If you get a fair deal on a card, close to MSRP, and if you can get it, I don't know. You might want to get it. Maybe the recommendation is go to eBay, which will hop over there, or StockX, and check out what you can negotiate down for. You know what I mean? Because some people do just want to load it. There are some um, uh, fair weather miners who just panic in a down market, and they're going to freak out. I'm going to lose all my money, blah, 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 not get my ROI. You may actually find one or two of those guys and score big on their cards they purchased at the uh, height of the market. That's the way it works. On Newegg, I've added stuff to my cart as they come in for some sweet, yummy deals, which aren't that great, but they're still better than what I've been seeing. And let's go through them and see where they're at. We have a 6600 XT, about 509. That is not bad. It's a, it's, it's not a bad price at all. Anything under 550 right now for an 6600 XT, I don't know. Maybe jump on it. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying anything right now, but not a bad price. Out of stock though. Blammo. Uh, we got this 1660 Super, six gigabytes, uh, 519, not too bad. Again, it's six gigabyte versus a 6600 XT, which is eight. The uh, AMD runs on less power and gives maybe approximately the same 32 mega hash mining ETH. Um, I would go with the 6600 XT. Yeah. Might be able to resell that better than a 1660 Super. And this is running high 70s on power. And that's with a uh, absolute lock core clock setting using the T-Rex Miner. Yep. Uh, what do we got here? A six, another 1660 Ti for 469i out of stock. Six gigabyte. That is really expensive for that card. Yeah, that's that's crazy. All right. Uh, 6600X, the Eagle. I don't like this because that's three fans. I want low profile. I just want stuff, not fluff. I just want the thing to do what it's supposed to do. You know, mine, my ETH, and not have a lot of power connectors, have some decent memory, and just be able to up and run. And that's why even this card is decent. No fancy bells and whistles, two fans, boom. Give me some 32 mega hash, and I'm happy. All right, so that's uh, not a bad price. Gigabyte, eight gigs. 509. And again, of course, you see the red there, folks? That is out of stock. Uh, if you go to my Discord, you will see when these come in stock. That's where I saw these. And you can look at that now and then you'll see the in stock alerts. And you can click on them and maybe you'll get one at the low price if you're really looking, right? Yeah. All right. So here's a 6600. Eight. Not an XT, but an eight. And that's 449. And we're down at the old XT again, 549, and no price drop. But in general, I have not seen these prices drop. And there's another gigabyte for 580. I've not seen the prices drop to the 500s or below in a while, like at least a few weeks. So there you go. Let's go to eBay now and check something out here. Hold on a sec. Let's go over to eBay. Oh, that's the wrong window. All right, let's go RTX 3060 Ti. I already put that in. And let's just get a price. January 5th to February 4th. This gives you a nice trend. So if you, have, if you have an eBay account, let's just go over here and just type in. Go to sell and then do research. Type in the model, whatever. And it gives you an idea of what they're selling for. I don't know what the heck that is. That's way off. So average sold price, 961 51 That's That's expensive. And here's the trends. You can see where it's gone. Uh, it kind of went back up past couple days. And that's what I'm seeing with even uh, gaming consoles and some other cards. Things are, uh, things are tweaking back up. So let's try another card. What is one? <clears throat> 370 Ti has been really popular. One, one retailer, one vendor wanted a bunch of these cards. They were asking people on a Discord page, we need 3070 Ti's by Monday. So they had a fulfill an order. I don't know why. Probably a miner. A, a crypto miner. All right, 1162. And uh, there's a, th all right. So price leveled out. It came down from highs. Yeah, it's been coming down. So, it, but it looks like it's, eh, let's see. Yeah, about the same, so it leveled out. All right, what's another card? Oh my gosh, um, 3080. I know it's hard to get these guys. 3080. Yeah, let's just see. Uh, I don't know. 3080. 
Yeah, let's just see. I don't know what's going to pop up. Oh my gosh, I think I broke I broke eBay. This is a, that's ah, not a good search. When in doubt, do it again. 38, there we go. 12 gigabytes, right? Come on, eBay, 1700 bucks. And it's kind of leveled out as well. Maybe down, yeah, 1602. Gives you an idea what the average sold price was. Things are pretty high yet. I don't know, man. I don't know about this. With the amount of electricity and the heat and everything, you just almost want to look for used if you want to get up and running instead of jumping out, dropping that much money into the crypto, especially with Ethereum jumping to um, uh, proof of stake, probably. I don't know. They plan for June, July, but you know that'll be pushed back probably at least six months, my guess, the way software works, software development works. Uh, who knows, though? What do I know? Um, there you go, guys. Prices seem to be the same leveled off maybe possibly trending up with the shortages and so to answer the question when will graphics card prices drop it may be a while it may have dropped and we're leveling out now so i don't know you can buy cpus but they're still expensive as well yeah i don't know it's all what you want to do actually now the topic should be and i brought this up before is given the market is down do you take 1700 bucks that you would spend on a 3080 12 gigabyte take that 1700 schmackaroos you take that money and why is this there let's get this out of here you buy bitcoin and or eth and then the thing goes up you're better off and you're not waiting to roi you're already in the green with profit maybe if it goes up again this is youtube and internet this is not financial advice don't be foolish and listen to me but that is an option. Do you go out and buy hardware, get everything stood up log uh, logically, logistically, you know, setting up all the stuff you need to set up? You may want to. It's a good hobby. But if you're looking to make bank or make money or invest, you may want to take that 1700 bucks. 1700 bucks and maybe just dollar cost average into your favorite crypto. Yeah. And then if you use Voyager, link below, shameless plug. If you sign up with Voyager, and you buy crypto, you get the passive income on the crypto you hold from Bitcoin, Ethereum uh, to USD coin, all that stuff. You get nine and a half percent with with the uh, boost holding USDC stablecoin. It's awesome versus your money market you're making elsewhere at zero point zero 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 one percent. You do better on USDC, and you can check out. They're not FDIC insured. I don't think they are. No. So, but again. Something's better than nothing. So that's the problem. Do you wait for the GPUs to go down? Do you want to buy GPUs? Do you want to waste money on USB miners, which again are a big risk and I don't think they make much money. If anything, you probably lose money and or you just take the money and dollar cost average in to your favorite crypto. All right, guys, there you go. Anyway, another video on the GPU prices. It just is what it is. It sucks not being early to the game. I was not early to the game like most others who bought Graphics cards, 200 bucks, 100 bucks, redonkulous prices. And uh, yeah, the, the OG guys. Nah, that wasn't me. But, uh, I'm kind of in this in this uh, position where if I have that money to buy a card, I may just dollar cost average into the crypto I like and just uh, maybe, maybe get some profits that way to help get my ROI back faster. <laughs> you know what I mean? The profits will all pay off for the investment I made into all the GPUs. Yeah, I'm going to hold them. I'm going to keep mining and uh, go from there. All right, I'm out, guys. What do you think? What are you going to do? You're going to buy cards. You're going to get a retail bot to get yourself some cards. You're going to stand in line in the winter uh, at Best Buy and hopefully get a card or um, or uh, go to eBay or StockX or something. All right, I'm out, guys. Thanks for listening. Post down below what you're going to do and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the stuff, and we'll keep posting this out. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. All right, out. Dun, dun, dun.